And now it's time for What's Hot, where we talk about the stories that have us all talking. We are joined by Eric Paulson from Wellstream Media, and let's get to our first topic here. A former Milwaukee County Transit Supervisor claims he was fired for being a good Samaritan. Bill Bierman lost his job after answering a woman's screams for help this past fall near 2nd and National. He claims he briefly restrained a man that he believed was hurting the woman. He says he was fired for violating the company's workplace violence policy. So the question uh, that we'll pose to you, Eric, and also Ben Marins, who's just showing us, should this transit supervisor have been fired? Is that the right move? Well, obviously, we don't know every little tidbit about what happened, but it, on the surface, if you look at everything, absolutely not. I mean, he's coming to the aid of a woman who was in trouble and who needed help. And everybody that I would talk to and a lot of people that... I assume you talked to had, had said the same thing. Now, I know they said they violated the workplace policy for the transit system, but uh, you know, I think the only real reason they would have to fire him is by claiming he was a liability by you know, getting off the bus and intervening in that. But still, I think for, for most of us, we'd say he did the right thing, absolutely. It sounds that way. Hello, Eric. It sounds that way, although I'm not sure if we know the whole story because the stories I have read don't talk a lot about his work history. So if this is the last straw, that may be the reason they let him go. Other than that, on the face of it, the story looks like here was a guy who did the absolute right thing. And they let him go and it was a mistake and he's asked for an apology and his job back in lieu of the lawsuit. But if he has a history where there are other problems, I know I read one article that said he'd been disciplined once, but if there's more than one and we just don't know about it, maybe we don't know the whole story. And that is true. I mean, we, we really have one half of this, but I mean, I sat down with, uh, with Bill yesterday. I talked to him. He seems like a genuine guy, and I'm not going to take him at his word necessarily, but he, he was telling me that he just received a commendation for, I think, helping uh, a fellow employee a, a, a week before. He didn't seem to me, at least on the surface, as a guy who had some disciplinary action uh, taken against him or, or kind of a rough around the edges guy. That being said, we don't know the entire story, and right. the transit system is not going to comment on personnel matters. And I was just thinking that you probably wouldn't know if there were other issues. Right. That's true. Well, I'm not well, sure I care, frankly. I mean, if the guy showed up late every day and he slacked off and left early, if he still helped this woman, I'm not sure that matters to me. Now, I, again, we don't know what these sure. issues are. However, in this moment, it seems like he was a good guy. Yeah, it, no, it sure does. And it's an odd story in that it's a boyfriend-girlfriend story. There was alcohol involved. And the woman, he was coming to her aid, according to what I've read, said she actually started the argument that they had. So all in all, it's kind of a sad commentary on a lot of things. Yeah. So what, what will happen with this, with the publicity, it may be that we find out in the next day or week that he gets back to work. Yeah. <laughs> There's a, certainly a lot of pressure on MCTS right yeah. now for that. We'll yeah. see. All right, All right, we'll leave that one at that. Coming up next, we're revealing the viewer's choice topic of the day. And Michael Fish will have another look at your weekend forecast. When I tune in. Topic of the day. Again, we're joined by Eric Paulson and communications consultant Ben Marins. Well, missed too many days of school and you could lose your driver's license. Michigan lawmakers are considering legislation that would require judges to flag the Secretary of State in truancy cases. They would then suspend licenses of students who miss school for six months or more. Your thoughts on this? Here's a case where we've got a problem. We're not sure what to do, so we come up with a solution that we, well, it changes things, but for the kids who aren't getting to school but they drive, now we're just going to keep them out of school a little bit longer. I'm not sure this solves the problem of why kids don't go to school. Well, and I think a lot of the kids that don't follow the rules by skipping school aren't going to be the ones who say, well, I don't have my license. I'm not going to drive. They're probably going to get in a car and drive anyway, so I'm not sure this is the best solution. You want a solution? Maybe have them do some community service they can drive to. That'll scare them straight. You know, if they lose that license, though, you would think that there's a parent around, so they're not going to drive without the license, although it's a point, Eric, well taken. I think, again, it's a question, why would this be the connective? I mean, obviously, your driver's license is a privilege at any age, and we kind of look at it as a right. And as it's a, a huge priority when you're 16, 17, 18, Understood. Though. It was for me then. Monstrous. It is for me at 54. But <laughs> if you're going to take it away because I don't go to work or because I didn't go to school, I'm not sure you're solving the problem. Again, I think they've just come up with a solution because they have a problem they don't know how to fix. Yeah, I'm a huge fan of parents legislating a punishment for kids yeah. rather than lawmakers doing that. So I don't know if mom and dad stepped in, but six months or more, that, that's a, a huge... Right. That's a lot of if truancy. the kids aren't going to school for six months, I have a feeling mom and dad aren't really stepping into anything in that's this true. kid's life. I'm but sure but law enforcement doesn't want to have to try to enforce that with everything else they're doing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Last one. All right. Let's do it. Time for our lightning round. Only four days left in 2013. That means it's time for New Year's resolutions. <laughs> 
So what are you guys looking forward to the most? Well, I, one thing I was going to say was warmth, but looking at the weather forecast, we won't get that New Year's Day. <laughs> Thanks, Fish. <laughs> But I think the idea of seeing health and the loved ones I have, I lost my dad a year ago, so he's on my mind at this time of year, and I like to think that the people who are still around will have a healthy 2014. That's first and foremost for me. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I'm still working on my New Year's resolutions for 2013 happening. <laughs> so i got four more days. It's all right. Uh, and, yeah, for 2014, it's going to be an interesting year. I actually went full-time with my own business, so I'm hoping that works. I hope I'm not declaring bankruptcy at the end of the year. Uh, and then, yeah, absolutely, health and happiness, and uh, that January, February, and March are much easier on us from Mother Nature's standpoint yeah. than December's been. You know, the older I get, I find that my resolutions change. You know, I'm close to my family now, so I think, oh, I'd like to spend more time with my family. Mm -hmm. You know, those kinds of things. Um, it's funny, I look back on 10, 15 years ago, and you know, oh, you could try to lose weight, or you could, you know, yeah. do this, get a new job, or get a new paycheck, and it's just interesting how that changes over time. I think, yeah, yeah everybody wants to, to be closer to, the, to their loved ones and, and have more time with family and friends. I'd like to put the cell down a little bit, I think, yeah. in 2014, where everybody now is hunched over. We're going to hurt our spines just staring at cell phones now. <laughs> That's okay. It's moving it, to watches now. Oh, so right, great. Right. So I can go like this and just walk around and look like an idiot as I'm tripping over things. On the, <laughs> the cell phone does have an off button, just so you know. Yeah, I know. It does? Yeah. And by the way, Eric, like you, my career is in transition. The other thing of this year is our daughter after this year will be off to college in the Ooh. fall. So mm. I guess for 2014, try to get a little more time with her just to see if once and 18 years, she will make her bed. Right. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, thanks. Well, the What's Hot conti mm -hmm. discussion continues mm -hmm. online. You can find that at tmj4.com slash hot. And coming up,